Hello and welcome to another video. This will be another launch TV reaction. This will be the last reaction I do for today, Thursday, the 27th of July. Um, this one is called Tom Gets Overheated. So let's see what happens in this video. Welcome to... Oh. Yeah, that's... Well, that was cool. Right, let me show you. We have a visitor here. Yeah. Friend, who I think is dead. Yeah, that looks pretty crispy. Yeah. All right. Well, he's kind of cool looking, though. I mean, can you see it? Yeah. It's yeah. Per very interesting. Oh well. Oh. Okay. Well, they probably fried. Probably. probably on these chairs because they're smoking hot. Welcome yeah. to LCV. I'm Larry. And I'm Tom. And we're doing a fan mail video today, guys. There we are. Well, you have the camera up high. I do. Yeah, I'm like, I hurt my neck looking at it. I'm like, why do you have it so high? Because I forgot to reset it. Like, <laughs> like you got it's a, still a good angle. Like a really big angle there. It's All a right. good angle. So we got a little fan mail. We do. Got a little. I'm going to let you, Just uh, a few things. I'm going to let you start it off, Tom. Okay. Hey, I'm um, trying to think if we have any, uh, I'm asking for it. I feel like I'm like really far back compared to you. I don't know. Barking sound awful close, didn't it? Oh, it's behind us. Okay. Yeah, I was gonna say that the only dogs I've heard barking are the ones that like been barking for the past how many years? Yeah, but that sounded extra loud to me. Like it was right, right here. Okay. I guess you got a moment of super hearing or something. Um, like, I don't know what to tell you. I don't know about this guy. I don't know about him either. Anyway, uh, updates. Uh, stay tuned. That's news to us. We'll be out. We'll have one for this next coming week, right? Uh, yep, yeah, that's what we. Um, that's what we discussed. And uh, yeah, I'm excited about that. We haven't done one in a while. Nope. Uh, we we'll, we'll probably won't do any skits in it. It's probably just going to be a straight. That's news to us. So. Yeah. Our first one is Tom. Get us a little bit further away. All right. Uh, let's see. It's just supposed to tear, but it's like... Yeah, this is yeah. sealed weird. You need a... Uh... No, I just needed to find where the actual opening was. And it's like Christmas every single time, guys. Oh my god. Will you knock it off with that? Uh, look, so the thing you're supposed to tear is down here. The opening's up here. It's not my fault that they screwed up the packaging. Settle down. Well, when you're oh. accusing me, I gotta be... You're riling me up. It's your fault. He's angry, guys. What's this? Here's a TV remote control operator's manual for yours to keep as a souvenir. TV <laughs> remote control operating manual? Well, you know who this is from. Yeah, Dream Big Productions. Dream Big. Cleaning out his garage still. Apparently... Yeah. Well, it's I don't, for a universal I don't, remote. I don't even understand. <laughs> but here's another one. At one. least send the remote. <laughs> you want to open this one too? Sure. Let's see. What's what are these instructions for? It's also Dream Bay Productions. Yeah, and that's why the package because it's almost like he recycles the uh, packages. You know what I mean? Like old Amazon packages. Yeah. yeah. That makes sense. Obviously. This dude holds on to everything, doesn't he? I mean, it makes sense to hold on to instruction manuals. I can't really fault him on that. But I think I can fault him on this one. <laughs> yeah. There are sales catalogs from year 2022. Oh, coupons. For yours to keep as souvenirs. Coup coupons. Yeah, because that's what I usually do. I, I usually keep uh, old flyers like that as souvenirs. Uh, let's see. All of these expired at the end of May of 2022. All these KFC coupons. Uh, let's see. Anything else? Offer ends May 5th for a carrier package for air conditioning. And we got a box here. And we got a box. From guess who? Green Bay Productions? Mm-hmm. Imagine that. There's something in there. You know, the, you want, this is like... The, you want to open this one, too? I guess I could, but I, I want to go on like a little bit of a rant about this sort of thing. Yeah. You, know, you get these things in mailboxes all the time, and it's just like, why? Yeah. Nobody asks for these. Yeah, well, the, the only, well, some people do use coupons, but... Oh, uh, sure, some people do. I use all these things as uh, fire starters. Right. 
But it's just such a waste of paper because how many people just are just like, oh, this thing, throw, and throw it away yeah. and don't do anything how with it. How many trees have to die for that? Right, and then it's just like, you know, it's like, oh, you have a $12. I don't know office. if I want to hand this to you, Tom. You're awful angry. Well, here, I, I, I have my right hand so that if I do wave it around, it's not near you. Is that, is that okay? Yeah, that's okay. Is that okay? Is that, that's okay. Okay. I don't even remember where I was on with it, but you get the point. I don't know. You were on a rant. I was, because... Because that thing bugs me. Because like, how many, how much paper is wasted to do so that? Does it bug you that like, oh, it doesn't bug you that they sent them here. It bugs you that they sent them out. Period. Uh, uh, yeah. Okay. In a general sense. I mean, like, it, it's kind of bugs me that they sent it here. Like, uh, right. I mean, that, like, like expired over like, a year. Ago. Dude, I don't. This, I guess, this is what I, I struggle with: is that you're paying money for shipping for this. For for what is it? Is it remote manuals and expired coupons? I guess it's funny to you. Uh, I mean, because... Oh, he circled Cox on this. Oh. Because the brand name uh, is Cox. So, he did. Oh, yeah, that's uh, so I guess that that's, it was, that's it was funny. a joke the whole yeah, time. That's funny. I was about to say. Dude, come on, dude. You know, at least hacky bats have a, have a purpose. Right, even if it is decorative. Curious what right. this is now. So, inside this box is more prop money for the lounge. Uh, uh, and uh, let's see, that that was, that was just be packaging. Asian currency this Yeah, is. I know, right? And, and I don't know what use we ever have for Asian currency either. It's very large denominations, like 98 billion or something like that. Okay, so we have this one. This is to Uncle Larry. Uh, well, I just opened three in a row, so you can take that one. Yeah, I don't think it's, uh, I don't think it's them. I don't think it's Dream Big Production because... No? <laughs> no, because it doesn't say it on there. They usually put their thing... Yeah, they, they do tend to Ooh. introduce... Is that, is that Pocky? Yeah. Yo, cookies and cream Pocky. Cookies and cream Pocky's really good. And there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight more boxes. Dang! <laughs> Who set us up with that? Hey, there's no note in here, I don't think. No, there's no note. And the, and the outside just says, from Bergen Sector, that's all. Came from New Jersey. So they're from New Jersey. Huh. All right, so well, we got to taste them. Of course. Um, so you obviously have had these before? I have. Uh, Pocky is a uh, Japanese snack. Okay, well, we'll just open this one. You know, why you got to open two boxes up? Well, luckily they have their own individual little packaging, so. You just eat it like this? Yeah, it's basically a pretzel stick. They are good. They are. Put, let me put them in the house real quick. So they don't melt? Because it's like 90 degrees out here, guys. At least. Whoever sent these to us, thank you. They are tasty. They are. But let me put these in because we'll, we'll just have a mess. Yeah, they will melt probably very fast. Like when I said out just a few seconds ago, that's because I moved my feet up in my flip-flops and they're already burning. Yeah. Hey, shout! I want to do a shout-out real quick to Tim. Tim Tech. Tech oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He sent us a DoorDash yesterday. Just want to, uh, here's a little little thing. Appreciate it so much. We, we really do. But you probably don't want to DoorDash anything that's ice cream um, right now. <laughs> right. Especially because we weren't home, came, and it was basically a puddle. Right, you don't know where we are. Yeah. Well, it's hot. It's been hot here the last couple days, so. Um, yeah, I mean, I have no idea how long it was sitting out there. Oh, I have no idea either. Yeah, um, it wasn't, like, the, the Klondike bars weren't completely destroyed. Yeah, because those are more like individual. But the other ones are, were pro probably, and they were some kind of, like, the rocket ship popsicle. Yeah, the, the, the firework uh, yeah. pops. They, uh, the, the red, white, and blue ones. Like, I, guarantee, I guarantee they were all water. Yeah. <laughs> I know, I'm watching it. There's a, 
there's a beetle flying around in circles that he obviously is it's hot for him yeah. but uh yeah tim thank you so much we appreciate it don't get me wrong it's just that you probably don't want to send ice cream this time of year here because um especially if you don't know that we're home when they're sending it so right and this if i remember correctly this is the guy who stopped by here one time uh yeah so go ahead and open yeah. that up yeah i remember him there's probably if i find if I didn't know any better, there's probably something in there for everybody. Like, in other words, a note for Joe, Kevin, because that's what it was before. Probably. Uh, well, yep, this one's labeled Joe. Yeah, I could tell that it was thick, so I knew that there was a... Uh, Why Joe? Because I don't know what to do Kevin, with it. Kevin, put Kevin, it right down there. Everyone. So I guess we'll read that one on camera. Uh, you get a double. I got double. And I get one. All right. So, um... You want to read yours first? Sure, I'll read mine, you read yours, and I'll read the everyone. Okay. Alright, so, Tom. Hey, Tom, it was great meeting you. Nice meeting you, too. I sent the picture that we took with your dad. Thank you for the hospitality that you guys showed me. I hope our paths cross again one day. Love all the videos. I enjoy watching them every day. See? Pete. Oh, uh, yeah. P.S. I do have one question for you. Why do you always look so nervous while on camera? Why? <laughs> what? Do I look nervous? I don't think I look that nervous. <laughs> Are you, are, you, are you are you nervous on camera at all? Not really. I think it's just I think it's just me. Yeah. Not that I'm necessary. I don't think that's the case because uh, Tom has been in uh, Jesse's video since like 2009, 2010. So um, he's been on camera since he was like 13 years old. So I don't know why he'd be nervous now. I got a nervous hair. guy. I got hair hanging from my nose. Not that I can tell. Okay. I mean, you got like, a bunch of them, like, under your nose, like, across your lip, yeah, on your that's chin. What I feel like mustache hair was going up my nose. Yeah, I, I was just asking if you are if you actually get nervous on camera. I feel like maybe sometimes, but not... Because, I mean, you're not time. always on camera, so it's like he's always on the other side, so it's awkward sometimes being on camera. Yeah, like, the, doing the switch can be awkward, which maybe that's, maybe that's what you're seeing, is, like, when I have to, like, flip it around and, like, get myself on camera, so I gotta, like, go back like this. Yeah, now we can't shut him up on camera. You notice that? Huh? Do you want me to be more outgoing, or do you want me to be a shut-in? You can have one or the other. You can't have both. All right, you want me to read mine now? Go ahead. Okay. Dear Larry, encloses the picture I took with you and Tom. He's got really he awesome... He does a good penmanship. Awesome writing, yeah. Thank you for your hospitality when I showed up at your house like I did. But all in all, it made my trip to Philly worth it. Hope one day our paths cross again, Stephen. P.S. I told you, Larry, when I met you that Weber was a scumbag and you said, no, he was a good guy, huh? You know what? Um, yeah, and I have a lot of questions about that still, um, but that's neither here nor there right now. Not with you, Stephen, but I appreciate that, Stephen. Quoting uh, Joe again, are we? I had to quote Joe last night, too, when I was talking with Ariel, so I can see why Joe says that now. Uh, this says, do not read this portion on fan mail. So... So, do not read it. I will not be reading it out loud. Is there a portion that you can? Uh, it doesn't look like it, but I'll, I'll let you read it just so that you can, uh, know the context. Alright, entertain the people. <sighs> it is hot out today. I think I'm sweating just sitting everywhere, here. everywhere, Tom. It's honestly one of the things that I like the least, is just... When it's so hot that you sit there and sweat, like... Moving around and doing stuff... Okay. Not my favorite. I can still deal with it. Sitting here and just like, ugh. No. Yeah, it's, it's, uh, I mean, I'm sweating just sitting here. Just sitting. I mean, that's why you gotta hydrate. I, I, can, I can see your arm glistening. I'm beating, yeah, I'm beating up. I need to hydrate myself a little bit. I'll be sure to do that soon. <sighs> anyway. Steven, thank you so much. Uh, appreciate that. I will make sure that I give the other guys their letters. Um, I don't... Who, who is it? Just Joe and Kevin, right? Uh, yeah, just Joe and Kevin. Yeah, I, I have no idea. Ke keep those separate. I'll see Joe later today. He'll be over. Um, Kevin, ha I have no idea when the next time I'm going to see him because, I mean, he's very busy. Soccer, home stuff right now, so I don't know. I didn't let you down last time because I did give them to him eventually, but it's going to take a while again, so don't get mad at me if it takes a while, you know? I'm watching this ant right now on the wall. 
carrying a bug and he's upside down and he's coming right down the siding. Oh yeah. It's it's kind of funny. He's walking sideways carrying a bug. Huh. Yeah. What is that beetle that we, we saw? We got all kinds of wildlife around here, guys. Chickens are doing great. Just to give you a little update on them. Uh, Tom did a good job, well, decent job. They lived of uh, keeping them uh, alive while I was gone and gathering eggs and stuff like that. Um, and he actually really liked my pulled pork. Best pulled pork, I mean, we've made it before and it's delicious, but um, best pulled pork I've ever had, melted in your mouth, it was delicious. First time I actually got a compliment for my cooking from this guy. Round of applause for me. Well, you have, uh, you know, it's, you, you know, you have a... Well, I've made other good things. Yeah, I mean, I'm just saying, the bar is really set really high for you, you know, because of my cooking and your mother's cooking, so it's well, like... Well, apparently, I have leaped directly over it. Just for one thing, don't get carried away. And all it takes is one. Just one, yeah, you made one thing that was absolutely delicious. However... If it was smoked, I think it would have been better, like at least a little smoky flavor to it, right? A little bit. Like, like I think you could have did it the way you did, because you did it in the oven, I right? I did it in the oven, yeah. You could have put it in the smoker for, at the beginning or something for, uh, you know, to get that smoke flavor in, then put it in the oven. Probably. You, know, you could have did that, but you didn't. Um, and I think that would have, uh, that would have been that one step that would have been unbelievable. Can't even have this one thing. Well, I'm just saying, I would have liked a little smoky, smoky taste to it, that's all. But it melted. Really, you were saying it was the best pork. It is. Ever had. It is. Cause and you say, yeah, oh, it was the best I, I ever had, but I cooked like, better. I Why give, do you make it better? I give him a compliment, and I take it right back again. It's like putting a quarter in the vending machine, but you got a little string tied to it. So it's just like, Oop. sorry, Tom. No, I'm, you're not. I'm tough like that, you know. Well, guys, I'm gonna go inside in the air conditioning or jump in the pool. Me too. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna go put my bathing suit on and jump in the pool. Because it's a good swimming day today. Weather's been beautiful, nice and hot. I like the heat, but I don't really like care for sweating when I'm just sitting here like this, you know? Yeah. Um, especially, I'd rather have my hat turned around the other way so I'm not being blind right now. Mm -hmm. uh, but I can't do that because of the camera and have big shadow on my face, so. I am melting. Yeah. Do you want to get cooled off? Yes. Okay. Not like that. Until next time, guys, grab yourself something to drink. We can get up and relax. We'll meet you at the lounge. It's humid, so that actually makes it worse. <sighs> Thanks a lot. Oh, my God. Anyways, that, that ends this reaction. Uh, stay tuned for the next video. That should be it for reactions today. I might do some update videos on my channel later tonight. Just talking about a few things. It's going to be separating a few different videos, but just different things I would like to talk about. Um, but I will figure that out soon. But I'm going to probably wait till later tonight to do them. So, anyways, with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and end this video here. Stay tuned for the next one.